it, it's important once again to look at all this information we have and try and make some sense out of it. What does it all mean? Well, what it's telling us is that it's giving us the clues to try and understand what is, where we're moving to, where we're going as a species. But before we can figure out where we're going as a species, well, I think it's important to understand who we are, where we come from, and why we're here, because that'll give us a lot more answers. And it's only when you know the origins that you can then string a line between the origins and where we're going to, to, to extrapolate a line of, of, uh, that makes some sort of sense to see where we are going. I have a problem with people that just you know, say, well, I don't care about where we come from. The, the time is here and now. Uh, we're just moving in, in this direction. This is what's going to be happening. You, you need, if you don't understand the past, how could you possibly try and predict the future? The one thing we have in our favor is consciousness. And I keep telling this more and more in my presentation, sharing this with people. Consciousness does not discriminate. It affects everybody equally. And because consciousness is, a, is, a, is a, some sort of a strange primordial field of the divine that we're trying to define and understand, it cannot be stopped by rubber clothing or rubber boots or putting yourself into a Faraday cage mm -hmm. to insulate yourself from it. It permeates everything, everywhere, all times. And it, it is now visible and has been shown with some spectacular effect how the, the light, which the ancient civilizations called the great sun, the light from the galactic center, has been identified as a source of what could be called consciousness or a source of, of life, unstoppable generation of life wherever it goes. And with that life comes consciousness. Mm -hmm. And the two are inextricably linked. We need to look at something that is a united, a unified model which unites people for a united strength, a unified strength where everybody contributes towards the greater benefit of all. Mm -hmm. And that is really the foundation of what I call contributionism, a whole new social structure that operates without money, without barter, without trade, without any value attached to anything, where everybody in their community contributes towards the greater benefit of all. You just need to put this out to the people. This is not going back to the Stone Age or to the Dark Ages. In fact, it is completely the opposite. It removes the hurdle. It removes money from the system. And since money is the hurdle and the obstacle to all progress, you're removing the hurdle to all progress. And I'm talking from whether you're a farmer or a shoemaker or a rocket scientist or whether you're an engineer, you have no hurdles or obstacles to what you want to contribute or achieve. And your passion is. So... We will leap rapidly forward uh, into uh, an enlightened mm -hmm. spiritual age filled with conscious people that will have huge amounts of time to pursue their spirituality, and the levels of consciousness will explode globally because people have, will have time to pursue the art and culture and spirituality because they'll no longer be chasing money or 90% of the time or more chasing mm -hmm. money so they can pay rent, buy milk and bread and pay electricity. All of that stuff is out of the window.